Today we will discuss about double length list and its implementation. So let's jump into the video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristic. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithms. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. In the last video, we discussed about single link list and its implementation. So today we'll discuss about double link list. The main difference between single link list and double link list, as I already told you in the previous video also, double link list will have two pointers to the next node and the previous node. I will show you here. You can see this diagram is a representation of a double link list. If I will draw a double link list, then it will be like a node which will have two blocks now, it means three blocks. So you can draw like this. So this block will be to the previous node and this block is to the next node. And if you remember from the previous video and if you haven't watched the single link list video, you can go and watch the video. I will link it there. Then you can come back here coming to the video. So uh, this as you can say this this node is uh, again its head. Okay, like that single link list but it will have a reference to the previous and the next node and as this is the first node the previous reference will be null and the next will be again another node which will have the reference of again next and the previous so this previous I have to be longer so it will be like that this middle block is for the data so and this will continue so if you make another note here this again this will have a value for the next and the previous and this will go to till the end if you compare it to single link list the benefit here is suppose you have the pointer here okay so you have the pointer here then you have the pointer to the next and to the previous that means you can go anywhere you want to the forward or to the backward just need to travel but in the single link list once you cross the pointer you don't have the previous reference so you can't go backward so that's the main benefit of double link list and now we'll see what is the use of a double link list like i explained in the previous video in the browser so when you hit forward or back you can see whichever use case has a, a use case of uh, going forward and going back that will use a double link list i can show you another thing here now it added to a link list then when i hit command z it will go to the backward like the previous uh, state and suppose i hit command shift z it will again come to the forward okay so that's what it's getting maintained in a link list this thing you can do in by using two stack also but it's better to use double link list so that it will be efficient in time and memory as well now i will explain you addition deletion add in the first add in the last add in the middle and delete by showing you the code so here the first one okay the the double link list as i told you also it has a, a reference to the next that is uh, here and reference to the tail and the length is the size of the node and if you ask me what is a node a node it has a data and it has a next and a previous that i showed you here it has a, a next and a previous like two block that we are representing here and this we are just writing a constructor so that it will create a data of empty next and previous means here I am setting both as null. We will go to the double link list uh, constructor first. Okay. So when you create a double link list object. So what it will do if it, it will check the data. If data is present it will create that node. That, that means you have only one node. So both head and tail should be present to only that node. Here it comes add node. And here I will going to explain you diagrammically. So now we will see how we are going to add a node to the double link list so first you are checking here if the link list is empty this is this line okay so if it's empty we, what you are doing you are creating a node we have inserted 20 here so if you can see both the both the parts are null so both head and tail are assigned to that node that means it has only one node 
Now the case is you already have the link list like here we have our three nodes now you're trying to insert so and we have a reference to both the head and the tail so what we did is uh, in this line we have already created a node so I will put it here okay so we just go ahead and created a node that is 20 this is previous and this is next so what we'll do here we tell tell dot next is the new node so we have already reference to the tail which is value is 4 so we have assigned the tail dot next so to the next node and the next node dot previous to to the new node so we can extend this one so net now this all the nodes has been assigned together now the time is to move the tail to here now this will be tail and this thing will go away now you added the node successfully to the link list to the last of the link list that is what add node is so now we'll see how you're gonna add a node and the beginning of the link list that means to the head suppose you have the link list like this like I'm I'm showing here so you have only you have three nodes and you want to add a node in the beginning of the link list so what you're going to do if link list is empty you will create a node and assign both the head and the tail to that node but if it not like the case we have here we all you already have a list and you want to add a new node to the first of the link list then what you'll do you create that node like we created here like suppose you want to add one to the first of this link list now what you'll do we, we have had here so head dot previous will assign to the new node and the new node dot next will assign to the head and we change the head to the new node so what we'll do we'll remove this point reference here and we'll assign this value to here now you got the link list again with the first node as one so this is that simple so this is what adding in the first so we saw adding in the last then this is the adding in the first then we'll go to the add in the middle so here as you can see i have drawn a link list that has one two four so purposely I haven't given three because we want we will going to add three at the third place means second place index the third place of the link list so this is what a use case of adding uh, a node in the middle of the link list so suppose you want to add a node uh, at the second position of the link is zero this is zero one two so you want to add a node after two so if you just think on a graphical way so what you will do you need to disconnect the links here okay you will assign the two dot next to here and this dot previous to here and again this dot next to here and this dot previous to here and that's how you add a node in between the link list now we'll go to the code and we'll see what's happening so here what we are doing is we are giving the data and the index so in our case the index will be two so we inserted three at the two position now updated position will be uh, this is two and this will be three. First two line if you are checking in the index is less than zero or it's uh, greater than the length of the link list we have okay then you are throwing exception is illegal argument if you are checking if index equals to zero you are trying to add in the beginning of the link list that i just showed in the previous example we are adding in the first if it's not then you are trying to add in the middle that i just explained in the diagram what you are checking here is suppose it's you are divided till here if it's before the middle point then you are traversing from the front and if it's after middle point then you are traversing from the back and this is the benefit of the double link list this you can do in in single link list okay so in this case we'll go and check so for for us the index is 2 first we assign the current node as head that means we got the head value here okay so now we are going till the index value so now we have the reference to the head now this iteration will going to run two times so uh, 0 and 1 so in the first iteration so the current node will be the current node the next so it will it will come here and the next time the 
So then the, when the value will be one, the I value will be one, it will go to current node, the current value that next. So this will, it will go here. Now we got the node to where we want to insert our value that is four. So we will insert the value before four. We'll call a method new node assignment that uh, is a private method and it's needs two value. It's the current node, that means for us it's four and the data you want to insert means for us it's three. So it is creating a new node with the value as four. So I just erase the reference here. So in this case, the current node dot previous dot next, that means current node is four, the previous node is two. And the next will be point to the new node. That means what we'll do, we have a, we will create a new reference to this one. So next node dot previous dot next, that means now the virtual pointer will come here and you will check this dot next to the new node. And now the new node dot previous, that means the new node is here. The previous is the previous value equal to the current node dot previous. Current node is four, the previous node is two. So new node dot previous will point to the current node dot previous. Now in the new node dot next is the current node that is straightforward. So what will do new node dot next to the current node and the current node dot previous to the new node. So this is simple like uh, like if you uh, like I explained in the previous diagram. Suppose if you have a node here, so what you will do assign this value to here, this value to here, and this value to here, and this value to here. That's how you add a node in between. And suppose if you are adding a value at seven, that is suppose the length is 10, you're adding a value at seven, then you are assigning the current node as a tail and instead of going forward, we are going backward. And we are again calling the same method here. So this will be remain same. We are the, instead of going from the front, we are going from the back. And the time complexity, you can say n by two, but as n tends to be infinite, so n by two also can be called as a you, you, you can say as a big O of n. So I will write it here. So it the time complexity is big O of n for adding in between. And for the adding in the first and adding in the last is a constant time complexity that is big O of one. Now we'll see how we're gonna delete a node. So it's little different than add. So if you remember in the previous video, I told you that you need two pointers to delete except head. So head you can delete straightforward, but for the delete the tail and delete in between, you need two pointers, but it's not the case here. You can handle in one pointer because you have reference to both to the next and to the previous. So think like we have three nodes, one, two, three, and we want to delete the first one. So this two method uh, here, is delete first and delete last that I'm going to explain you. As in the single link list also, you just need to shift the head to here. And you just need to make this reference as null. That's what we are doing it here. And that will be automatically deleted. This dot head dot data to the data. That's just assigning the data. Then this dot head to the head dot next. So previously we have the pointer here. Then this dot next, we are assigning to the head. That means now the head will be two and we are decreasing the length. And if you are checking now, after that, assigning the next, suppose then you have only one node, then the list will be empty. And if the link list is empty, then you're assigning the tail to null. If it is not, if like this case, then what we are doing is this dot previous equals to null. That's what I did it here. Then that's how you will delete a node in the beginning of the link list. Now we'll see how we're gonna delete a node in the end of the link list. And you have the reference of the tail as well. Okay, so again, you will check the link list is empty. If it's not uh, like in the head, what we, what we are doing, we just moving the tail to here, okay? Now you have the tail reference tail dot previous equals to tail. Now the tail become this one. And again, we have just moved this, this dot next to null and this will be deleted. So that's what we are doing it here, tail dot previous to the next. And again, you are checking if the length is empty, means the list is empty, then the head will be null else tail dot next is null. That's what I did it here. That's simple. 
Now we'll see how we're gonna delete a node in between. So in this case, we'll try to delete the second node that is two. So if you can draw it, can imagine in your brain, so it is simple. So what you need, you need to point this to here and you need to point this to here and this will automatically delete it. And how you gonna point this, uh, the one to three, that you have a reference from one to two and from two to three. So you can grab the reference from two of the three and you can assign that one to three and the backward you can do the same. If the index is not matching, then you are showing illegal argument. If the index is zero, it means if you want to delete the first, uh, first element, then you are calling delete first. If you want to delete the last, then you are calling delete last. Else you are checking again, like uh, we check in the in that uh, add add. So if uh, we have a length of uh, some value and if the index lies in between here, then we are going from the tra traversing from the head. If the index lies some, somewhere here, then you are traversing from the back. That's we are doing it here to reduce the complexity a little bit. Again, suppose think like we are traversing from the front, then what we assign the value as a current node equals to node, then again we are just incrementing the value here. So the first the pointer will be here, then it will go to the current node dot next. So in the first iteration, so here uh, we want to delete at the index one. So this for loop will only run once, so zero, and in the next time, uh, as it increase, the index will be not less than one. So the we got the node, okay? So we'll go to the next node, and uh, now the pointer is here, now we got the node, now we'll call the remove node. So what it's doing here is node, means the current node we have, which is this one, node.previous.next, node.previous.next, is three that means we are node dot previous is one and dot next equals to node dot next means this one and node dot next is three and again node dot next dot previous this means node is here dot next dot previous equals to the node dot previous means node is here the previous is here so we are connecting this one like I just explained in the diagram and we are decreasing the length. We saw how to delete and how to add in the various places. You can just go through the code, try to understand each and every method. So and explaining all the method will be um, pretty, now the video is already long, now it will become pretty long again. So what I want is go through the code and uh, uh, try to understand if you're not getting anything like it's, it's not that hard, but if you are not getting anything, please get back to me through the comments, through the email, through message, any, anything you can do or in, from in Slack. So I can clear your doubt and if you are facing any problem uh, or facing any issue or there is some bug here, you can raise a pull request so that we can merge it and we can make the application will make the code better. So what I did here is I have created a double link list as initial node as 20 because if you go here you can see if you have giving some data we are creating a node then I have added two value at the last then I have added a value at the beginning like at the second position of the link list and when we'll just go and type node at link list check you got the data is 20 10 60 and 40 and which is this one so first uh, first we created with 20 then we have added 10 then we have added 40 but we add this the 60 at the second index that means if you go here you can you can check that first 20 got added then 10 got added, then 40 got added now you we inserted the value uh, 60 at the second position. Now what we'll do, we'll try to uh, delete some last value and we'll print the value here. Now you can see the, the last value has been deleted. So what you can do, we can go and test the uh, all the methods and please get back to me if you have some doubt or clarification or have some bugs. So that's it for today. Today we saw uh, about link list and its use and what is the benefit of double link list over single link list. So, so please like the video if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. 
and please share the video among your friends family colleagues we'll going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye